Alrighty. Hey, hey, mages. How's it going? I'm really tired. How about you? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be doing more FF2 tonight. And I'm, I'm here as your wonderful guide, your stoic mage. Or I should be, you know what, sometimes I should like just rename myself the sleepy mage because i'm always tired when i start a stream <laughs> i can never like every time i'm i like put the the thing on and i'm like right in front of the camera and i'm about to hit live uh like the, the go live thing i'm always like sitting here going mm, i would like a nap right now <laughs> but we will not nap uh, tonight. We will be doing some FF2 tonight. Oh, whoops, I gotta do the transition. There we go, now we're doing FF2 tonight. So, previously on us still not knowing what's going on in, in completeness yet, um, so, so I guess to just give it a whole rundown so far, um, we are four people that got driven out, driven out of a town from the Empire who is trying to take over the world because reason, um, we escaped or we died and escaped some guy rezzed us. And, and and we're like, all right, I want to fight against the Empire with y'all. And they're like, fine. Uh, and one of our friends, uh, Leon, is is nowhere to be found. They're, he's probably with the Empire, so we're going to have to save him. Um, there's the three of us. Uh, Firion, Maria, Gus, with the help of the guy who saved us, Min Mindu. Uh, we are all tasked to just... Just troll the Empire a little bit. Just just, their, just tickle their butts every once in a while so that they slow down their progress of taking over the world so we could probably, you know, maybe reach the, em the Emperor or something and take care of business. Um, so, last thing we did to troll the Empire was we traveled over to the east. We went to their mithril mines. We saved the slaves that they um, recently took from a nearby town. We got some of their mithril. We gave it to the princess or the princess's blacksmith at, at uh, Altier, who was able to make us some sick ass equipment, but we can't buy from yet because we never have any money. We're orphans. We're homeless all the time. Um, <laughs> That's like, I feel like that's a requirement for the early FF games. You gotta be homeless. Um. So we took care. We took care of that. We took care of the mithril mines, and then the princess, uh, asked, uh told us to, uh, all right, all right, good job with the mithril guys, but we gotta, we gotta troll them harder. Go back to the east. Go to Basque. Um, where they're stationed at and try to take out the Dreadnought which is this super sick ass airship that they have try to like m maybe destroy it if you can it's okay if you can't it's a big ass airship it's sick but if you could try to like delay it a little bit that'd be nice like delay it from flying so that's where we are so, this time, I decided to uh, grind off stream a little bit. So we got everyone's health a little bit up, everyone's magic pretty big up, um, everyone has uh, adv more advanced um, forms of magic. They're about to get to like level 3 or so, Mindu, um, he's about to level up his fire, he's good at, he's better at cure now, so he's gonna help us with healing for a while um so I already made so we already made it to Basque I think I think we last ended up in Altier 
So let's uh let's let's look around. Let's talk to people. Let's see if we can uh Hey, you're rebels, aren't you? Please destroy the dreadnought. Wow, that's really really straightforward considering that there's a guard like 50 feet that way. Oh, I thought that guard was go was going to like come be like What'd you just say? I'm sorry. You'll need a pass to enter the dreadnoughts. Gotcha. And if I talk to you, I'm screwed, right? We need the Dark Knight. Huh. There's a rebel spy disguised as an Imperial soldier. Go, f go to him. Find him. Come on, move it. I swear, everyone refuses to work under General Borgen. Yeah, man. Come on, you lazy good-for-nothings. Move it. Move it. Finish its construction as quickly as your pathetic selves can. You're going to advance in my you're gonna advance my position in the Imperial Army. Damn. You could tell this guy's the chief because he has the, the Napoleon hat. And the in the sick ass uh, cape. We have to work here as slaves, but I don't remember anything about the Dark Knight commanding us. He must be really sick. Hello. General Borkin must be firm with him. I'm sure he does have to. What about you, buddy? Are you a rebel in disguise? Are you a robot in disguise? Ever since a General Borgen, a General Borgen, since General Borgen came as the Dark Knight's replacement, it's been easier for us here. But sure, he sure seems like an idiot. Uh, no, oops, <laughs> you, you didn't hear that. No, 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 don't kill me. Don't, please don't kill me. Um. I would like to ask about the Dreadnought. Oh, you must be here to destroy the Dreadnought. Yeah, I'm a spy for the rebel forces and an ally of yours. You'll find an entrance to the sewers ahead. It should lead you to the Dreadnought. Hey, hey. I, I don't want to give them any excuse to become suspicious of me, so... Bix, you're on your own. Take care. Goodbye. All right, well, that was easy. All right, cool. We made it to their secret underground base, I think. I'm sure everything will be fine from here. Nobody's going to ambush us or anything. Hell yeah. Let's go. Longsword, but I already have a longsword, and we are fine. Unless I want to give uh, the Ferion two longswords at the same time. Yeah! Hell yeah. Alright, we got it. We got to try out that damage. Maria's got fire three. She can take care of things now. Mindu's about to get to level two. Come on, Ferion. We've got to see that. Aww. I want Ferion to be like just baller with the, uh, the two swords. Oh man, that's going to be awesome. Huh, it looks like only the water, for some reason, is, uh, not death. Water is danger. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Virion, attack normally. I want to see you do damage. Everyone else also do magic. Nice. Nice. That's, that's what I like to see. Nice. I'm super cool with that. All right, so our our gang here, yes, our gang here is just blazing it now. 
literally and figuratively. But they are doing great. Um, so because there's no level, uh, I can't tell how much I'm supposed to grind for. So... It, it may seem like I have grinded... I, I can't tell. Maybe I've grinded too much? I, I honestly cannot tell. And it is really funny. So as far as, as far as we are concerned, these lads are in tip-top shape at the moment. They are ready to kick a big Empire ass, and they're ready to take down that Dreadnought. Or maybe steal it for ourselves, most likely. That's what I more think that what's gonna happen. Got a longbow. I already have one, but that's fine. Oh boy. Oh, it's gonna be a maze again. Nice try, Mindu. You got you you you, you get him next time. What's the... What's the thing from, uh... Call of Duty? Like, when you lose a multiplayer match, it's like... Don't worry, you'll get him next time. Oh wait, I think these guys are weak to ice. Ah, uh, that's fine. Maria will get him. Yeah, that's good. Out if we go. Ugh, all these enemies and their... and their maze caves... I swear... Hey, Smello Drinks Glue, how you doing? How's it? How you, how you, how you been, man? Oh, I just realized something. Just realized my text box is, uh,. Not showing up. Huh, it should be. Okay, well, that's fine. Also, uh, I just realized we haven't seen Leon, like, at all yet. Which is the strangest thing. I don't know anything about him. And and I've already been like playing this for about five hours now. Minus the grind. Oh! Oh, you must be the Dark Knight. Alright, excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. Hello? Okay. Sup. The Dreadnought is now complete. You fools thought I'd leave without finishing my duty? Tisk tisk, motherfuckers. <laughs> Give up. 
You stand no chance against the Emperor. You guys gotta hit yourselves more. Gotta level up that HP, man. I will leave you to decide your fate. <laughs> it is my fate to like kick your ass, cause that's that that'd be nice. Goodbye. For now. Oh, he's like He's like, hey. Are you sure you want to deal with this? Are you sure? I'm gonna give you a chance here. Well, that's nice of him. But now I gotta fight Borg, I gotta fight Napoleon. Take that. Oh, he had like a little squeaky laugh. Yeah. Okay, so he has like more of a high pitch. Take that. Like more, uh... Um, Dazzly. Yeah, Dazzly. Like Napoleon. Damn it, the Dreadnought! Well, that sucks. Looks like we done screwed up, guys. What 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 are we gonna do now? I suppose uh let's get back to town. Let's see if uh we could talk to any of the locals now. Unless they've all, all unless they've all been killed by the Empire once they finished. We'll see. Could go either way. Oh, this must be their little hangout. I got the pass. And what does this do? Oh, shit. Oh, that's nice. Okay, good. That was, that was very nice of him. Damn it. Yeah, like I can I can imagine this stranger on his knees slamming the floor like damn it damn it all you you've really done it the world is coming to an end the dreadnought is now finished and so is our world they're gonna bomb it all Go, go. <laughs> this guy's like tired. It's like, just, just, just go back to Altair. Maybe, maybe the princess can figure out how to destroy the Dren. I, I don't know, man. This is, this is way too much for me. How about you? Yeah. So the, the Dreadnought's headed towards Poth. Okay. Maybe go back to Altair. Oh, I was just there. Damn. How about you, buddy? Hey, go ask Sid what the Dreadnought's weakness is. That's a really good idea. Sid knows about airships. My my huge guess is maybe, maybe lightning or wind.
All right, guys. So we now we ha we have to. So here here is our here is our journey so far. Our journey was to go to Altair north a little bit to find to find a ring, go back down, back to Altair. Then we were told to go east, far east, to do a bunch of stuff, go trek back track to Altair for the princess to now take us back to the far east at the same place, near the same place. Only for us to do absolutely nothing and then to go trek back to Altair and talk to the princess once again. It's like... This party must be like... They must be not furious, just upset. They're they're not mad, just just disappointed. Also, here's a here's a new development on uh, on this party. So we we have found a map. We have we have found a map. Uh, turns out it is select circle. It is select circle uh, to open up this map. I, I knew that we had the ability to open up a map using Scott's ring, but I didn't know how to actually open it. Um, it's it's select circle, which is the darnest command. Um, I can switch maps, so I'm right. I'm here right now. I have to make it to Poth, which is down south. So I should go down south. It's right here. I was like, I was like trying to wonder for the longest time, like how do you, there, there's like 16 buttons here and like all, all of them do the menu. Like 14 of them do the menu. And I'm like, did they not try to allocate just one button for map? I, I'll understand because this was originally on the NES. So they had to do like select B. Hey, the dreadnought came and it opened fire, killing everyone. Everyone's Freaking dead, man. Yeah, I could kind of see. Oh, Jesus. Too bad. The ship's le left for Palum. Oh, Sid. Wonderful. I'm glad you're the only one in this bar that survived. How you doing, man? If you want to ride the airship, give your guild to the guy behind me. Okay, great, but how do you kill the Dreadnought? You only need to blow up the engine of the Dreadnought. Just, just, just blow it up this minute. Just, just blow the shit out of that shit and, and you'll take it down. Don't worry, trust me. Okay. Great. Want to ride the only airship in the world? You're not the only airship, man. But, um, do I want to go anywhere here? I do not. Sorry, man. Time to get my butt to Paloom. Uh, did anyone else survive? Anyone Anyone else good? Yeah, of course. Of course the inn survived. It's the inn. You can never kill the inn. Everyone else, however, is dead. <laughs> it's only only Sid and and the shopkeeps. Ba basically anyone who generates money is alive. Stays alive. Okay. Uh so let's head Oh, damn it. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna pull that map again.
Got it. We got it. grab that map. All right, let's let's take a look at the map one more time as Ferion just pulls it out. You just go, just makes a nice whap. Just that was a terrible sound. Like just thwap. All right, where are we? We're we're in Paloom. Poft. Sorry, no, we're in Poft, and Paloom is northwest and then south. So we're gonna have to make a a nice old trek. Defeating like the, the most basic bitch of monsters uh, that we fought. Actually, these are like the only monsters we've fought, fought so far. Like these and some soldiers. Like these are nothing at this point. That's how you know our party's so cool. They're the coolest. I hope this takes me down to where I have to go. And not to some dead end. I think our party has had enough uh, nonsense over traversing this land. Let me tell you. Damn, that's fine. Because that didn't do anything. Oh man, Farron, you're you're just killing it today. All right, we're almost there, guys. All right, which way again? All right, a little bit to the left and down. Yeah, this game is uh, significantly better once we can once we are have the knowledge to open up a map. I'll be honest. Uh, right before we started the stream tonight, ah. Damn it. Gus, this is your fault. No, it's not. It's mine. Uh, right before I started the stream, uh, I was grinding for about an hour. And once again, I did not know um, how much I should be grinding for because there's no level indicator. So we, we're going to have to gauge... How well we're doing by the next boss. But I'm pretty sure we're we're doing fine. Also, um, I do want to mention the the uh, grinding I've been doing. It's it's not the most fun grinding. No, normally I'll be like whole like super um, like having a good time grinding. But for some reason, I don't know, the, the grinding here in this game is not as uh, fulfilling. Most mostly because there's no level up. There's there's no XP. I, I think I think that's why I like grinding because I I like seeing my XP go up, not my level, just XP just building, and that's always fun. Also, I, I I think it's better when I'm not. I think it's better in other games because in other games I'm not attacking my own teammates to get stronger. That still weirds me out. All right, that's enough for that's enough of uh, fourth wall breaking. Back to story. All right, so we are back in Paulum. It is also trash. Hey, sir, you looking for a ride? 32 guild of Poft? No. And I'm pretty sure I was supposed to talk to someone in Poft to get me back here. 
and I missed it. So, damn me, I guess. But let's talk to the people here. Oh, oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm not going to make it. Oh, oh that, that airship got me good. My, my sweet daughter, she, she died. She died, man. Yeah, the dreadnought attacked us. It's freaking crazy. Who could, who would do such a thing to us pirates? Pirates are people too. That is very unfortunate. On on, uh, what is also unfortunate is that I must go now. I'm sorry, I cannot help you all. I have to save the whole world, not just you guys. Must go see the princess. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> I like how um so so I I've done this in I'm I'm, I'm doing uh, I've done this in FF6 a little bit. More in FF5, a lot more in FF4. Definitely an FF3, and I'm starting to do it here as well. The the stronger I get, the more evil I feel. Where when I feel very overpowered and like feel good, like I know I'm gonna win, I'm like, yeah, that's it. Power. You cannot defeat this power. You better run you better submit. To this power. Like, <laughs> I love it. No, I already talked to Sid. No, it's fine. Uh, oh, wow, there's a lot of people here. The Dreadnought attacked us, but our headquarters somehow survived. It's crazy. All the people who were outside the town were killed. Good thing we were indoors when the bombs fell. Good thing we had a roof. All right, we got we gotta destroy the, the the dreadnought, man. We gotta gotta stop the killings. Hey there. We will hold up here until you return. I bet I did return. The dreadnought finally came to Altair, but fortunately our hideout suffered no damage. We gathered all the townsfolk to take shelter here. Wait, so if you if you got all the people to take shelter here, then why did people outside die? Unless you you're talking about like outside in general. Dear Lord, I ask thee to save the king's life. Ah, that was scary. I'm, I'm a child. Alright, let's go talk to the princess. Let's see what's up. Maybe talk to the king. Yeah, how can we go up against that freaking thing? That thing's huge. <sighs> I knew it. Everything was just too much for you lads to handle. Hey, we, hey, 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 we're, 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 we're trying our best, man. We're, we're trying. There's only, there's only, there, seriously, there's only, like, so much the four of us could do. Like, we, we just started the game. Like, we can only barely hold, hold a sword and, like, do basic fire magic. Like, give us a little bit of credit here. Try not was finally finished. Hey princess, what's up? I heard it cut. <laughs> I heard it cut. I kind of got nuts in here. Many people were hurt in the Dreadnought's raid. Father's illness has worsened, and I understand he thinks. I understand he thinks he is nearing his death. That's weird. Hey Mindu, is there uh, anything? you can do don't you have like level eight cure D don't you don't you pretty much know kiraga don't you know isuna too <gasps> all living creatures were born to die it cannot be helped but but no but he's dying of 
he's dying. It sounds so. What it, what it, it sounds like? What they're saying is that he's dying of an illness, like sickness, just general sickness. Uh, but I think what they are meaning to say is that he's dying of old age. He's dying of a broken heart. But my duty is to save those who are suffering. So we might as well just give it a try. Let's just go, you know, let's go to the king. Let's try out Kiraga. Let's try out Isuna. Maybe that'll take care of things. Maybe life, if, um, if his death was untimely, you know, maybe give it a try. Whatever. All right, go on. Continue your journey. I will remain here and take care of the injured ones. I'm, I'm too OP for this part of the story. Just, just, just get out of here. I'm going to leave now. And as Mindu uh, takes Ferion by both hands on the shoulders. Pa. Ferion, the Dreadnought must be destroyed. We cannot endure this much longer. You're going to have to take that thing out, man. I don't know how you're going to do it. You, you, you just got it, man. You, like, I, I don't know what to say. Okay, bye. Oh man. Oh, can, can I can I at least get my stuff back? That asshole took my stuff. <sighs> okay, princess, what now? Thanks to Minnu, father seems to be in much better condition these days. Okay, um, but how do I... How do I do the Dreadnought? Uh, so many died in the Dreadnought's assault. How are we supposed to... How are we to fight such a monstrosity? How the fuck are we supposed to fight that thing? I wonder if anyone down, out there knows of a weakness we could exploit. Yeah, Sid already told us. In any case, I do have item. I do have a pass. Nothing happened. Damn it. Okay, well. <laughs> Let's go talk to the king. Maybe he has something. Hey, Mindu. It is his spirit that is most hurt, not his body. This is some this is not something a physician can cure. But what about Dreadnought, though? The Dreadnought and the airship both operate on the same mechanical principles. What if we give him a pass? I didn't mean to do that. A pass. Damn it. Many good men died in the Dreadnought's attack. I sometimes wonder if we should surrender to the Empire. Nah, man, don't. Try not. Huh? Airship? Sid I knew was a kind, righteous man. But that all changed after the Fire Nation. I mean, uh, after he became involved with the airship. That's right. Alright. Uh, so let's go to Sid. Let's go to Sid, and we're gonna be like, hey, Sid. Can we borrow your airship? We're gonna we're gonna do some cool things with it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take out the empire. It's gonna be so rad. We we might we might break the airship in the process, but it's gonna be so cool. You're, you're gonna love it. I swear. Sid. Now all of a sudden I'm just remembering Tim. Okay. Um so our our bestest bestest white mage is gone, which is unfortunate.
Because that means Maria's going to have to do all the healing. And she's not that good at it yet. But we will be fine. It's time to go find Sid. I mean, we already know where he is. So now, back over to, uh... Palum. Where's this Poft? This Palum. Palum, right. I would... I do would like to go to Poft. And I now have to leave. Do 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 gonna save the world with my friends gonna ask this old man for his airship gonna take down the big airship with my cooler airship all right uh, <laughs> all right Sid hey man We're gonna have to... Hey, man, we, we need that airship. The airship runs on Sunfire, as does the Dreadnought. Oh, that's good to know. What is Sunfire? The Sunfire can't be controlled... Or, uh, wait, this is Sid. The Sunfire can't be controlled easily. You get too much flame and it might just blow up in your face. Cool. Um... Okay, so fire the engines. All right, do we know where the uh, dreadnought is right now? Oh, I can only use the map outside okay so um i'm i'm assuming the dreadnought went west So we gotta find that thing, sneak up to it, kind of, kind of tickle its butt a little bit, and cast fire on it. Just, just, just fire all over that engine, and we will be good to go. Uh, we just, we just gotta find out where the hell that thing went. So let's, uh, let's try to ask further, if we can. Actually, let's go back to Altair here, because we didn't really talk to everyone. I don't think so. And also, now that we got this new keyword, we can ask the princess about it. Or uh, Mindu. Or the king, for that matter. Hey, Princess. What do you know about Sunfire? Oh, the Sunfire is Cassian's symbol. Its light illuminates the castle's ground floor even today. That's cool. But I have heard stories about the flame from Scott and Gordon. For instance, no ordinary torch can carry it. So yeah, we kind of we kind of want to use that thing to to kill the dreadnought. Oh, perhaps it can. Please go to Cassian at once. Sid should provide you with transportation. 
But I wonder how the magical flame can be brought back. With a magic bottle. I'm sure. I, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Mindu, what do you know? What what do you know about Sunfire? Oh yeah, so uh, every three years a ritual of fire is held. The Sunfire is transformed into Eagle's t a torch, so that the its altar can be purified. Eagle uh, Eagle's torch. Interesting. What about you, King? Oh, Scott sealed the gates of Castle Cassion to protect the Sunfire. In case his army was defeated. We don't want those fuckers coming into their town. Yeah, so you'll need the goddess's bell to lift the doors again. What's the goddess's bell? Only the Cassion clan know the, knows the bell's whereabouts. Hey, Mindu, what do you know about the goddess's bell? <sighs> Gordon should know where the bell is, but we do not know where he has dis dis disappeared to. Someone who has been close to Scott and Gordon may know where it is. Princess Hilda, maybe? Perhaps? Alright, thanks, man. It's all coming together. We're, 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 we're coming up with a plan. Hey, Princess. What do you know about the Goddess Bell? Ah, oh, yes. Scott and Gordon have mentioned that before. Cassian's doors only respond to the voice of a family member or to the sound of a magical bell. The bell is supposedly d hidden deep within a cave in the Snowlands. I hope you do not intend to go there, I hope. I mean, yeah? We, we have to? Oh, but if only Gordon were here, you wouldn't have to risk your lives like this. It's like, it's too late for that. We already died. Wonder where he has gone. Well, regrets is pointless now. I can only pray for your safe return. Joseph knows where, Joseph knows the snow fields as he has done his own garden. Maybe he has Maybe he have some good advice to offer. Okay, maybe I'll ask him. I'm pretty sure, uh, Gor uh, 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 yeah, Gordon, um, has already went there. Like, has already went to the snowfields. But that's fine. Let's uh, let's get back over there. We'll um. We'll, we'll call an Uber. We'll, we'll have Sid pick us up as his uh, as the Uber driver. Um, have him take us to Cassian. It'll, it'll be fine. Alright. Off we go again. Back to the same place. <laughs> All right, Sid. Sid, we need you. We need you again. So this would be like a tagline for like if this were like an, an anime or something. All right, as our three heroes have uh, have left without their precious white mage, how could they must now uh, trek on um, along the perilous world without their precious white mage? How could they ever survive? And the answer is by being so beefy right now. It's like not even funny.
We, yeah, we're all beefy daddy. For realsies. And, and Maria's like, excuse me? I'm sorry. Sorry. Beefy mommy, okay? Are you happy? <laughs> And she's like, yes, thank you. <laughs> all right. And we're all just charging in, Sid! And, and, he, and he's still in there drinking his mugs like, God damn, what? What? Sid, we need a ride. Sorry, Sid's buddy. We need a ride. It's Cassian. Oh god, you're you're expensive. That's like Oh, that's like six bat six or seven battles. Ugh. But I don't want to walk there. It's so weird considering that we can never have like more than uh, ten thousand dollars. Sorry, a thousand dollars to our name. We're always so damn poor. I never went here before. This is Cassian. Castle Cassian. I think I was supposed to go to the snow town, not this. Ugh, damn it. Damn it, I didn't I didn't tell I didn't specify uh my my, my Uber driver. Damn it, Sid's buddy. I said I wanted to go to, to 40th Avenue, not 40th Street. I wanted to go to to um to Ca to Cassia, not Cassian's castle. Huh? Chocobo Forest, hey! Back to the real world, aww. Wait, what? I can't tell where the borders are. This way? This way. Chocobo? Chocobo! Congratulations! You've caught a chocobo. All right, I gotta hear this music. Wait, do I have to fight the chocobo? Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say. It's like, I didn't, I don't have any Geishal greens. I don't know how to capture it in battle. Let's get on. Yeah, that's a that's a chocobo music. Oh, that's what that uh, small dot on the map was. That was Chocobo Forest. I think. Let's uh, let's explore a little bit more. 
just to be sure. Just to make sure I'm not going nuts. I have to go further down. Alright, there's, there's the castle. And down is... Yeah, Choco Forest. Yeah, Choco Forest. Okay. Um, I thought... I have to go to Salamand. Let's go to Salamand first. Because I do need to speak with Joseph. About where, uh... Where Gordon is. Oh, this chocobo's the best. I hope this chocobo stays with me after I get off. I know that's not gonna happen. Yeah. That's unfortunate. All right, time to go find this Joseph. Girl, just, just talk to him. We've already been through this. All right, Joseph, hey. I need to ask you about all these things, really. Uh, can you tell me more about the Dreadnought? Yeah, since the Dark Knight came as the commander, Dreadnought's construction has sped up. It will be finished in no time. Oh, you did not know about the news. Yeah, it, it, it kind of blew up. Uh, not the Dreadnought, like the whole thing. Uh, can you tell me more about the airship? Yeah, no one on Earth knows more about airships than Sid. Yeah, that's why I figured. Tell me more about Sunfire. The fuck's that? Tell me more about the Goddess Bell. Nah, y you will not make it to the Ice Cavern without my Snowcraft. So can we have it? I hid the Snowcraft inside the mines. On the first level, a blue rock marks the entry to a secret room to the right. It's in there. Well, let's go. Oh, you're coming with me. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Cool. Um. Oh, uh, he's <laughs> he's a he's a pretty he's a pretty derp. He's a pretty derp. Uh, let's look at his stats. He is unarmed. He is my monk. He's my monk. A lot of attack. Good defense. No, no, not good defense. But he has good stats overall. Yeah, he's he's my he's my monk. Um, can I can I give you like better equipment though? No, he has like the best things I have. And you know what sucks? I gave Mindu like decent bronze equipment and he still has it. He didn't give it back. What a jerk. Daddy, please come back soon. We'll see. Um oh, let's talk to her. Really? Okay, so we have to go back to the caverns um, in which we saved him. Which would be over in the Summit Falls. That way. So it's going to be... Let's get closer. Enhance. It's going to be north to the left. North all the way to the left. Okay. No, wait. I'm 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 a fool. I'm looking at the wrong dot. It's just left. Okay, cool.
Off we go. Welcome aboard, Joseph. Let's see how you do. Do you do three digits? Just about. Just about. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, I'd say my team is on the level. That's, that's good. Alright, Joseph, if you're gonna roll with us, you gotta learn a few ground rules. But rule number one is expect us to hit you a whole lot. Okay, nothing personal. That's just how we roll. Okay, where to now? It looks like we just take the river down? Sweet. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna save. Gonna make sure that we don't get wiped all of a sudden. In, in these classic games, I gotta be, like, extra careful, you know? Alright, there it is. Blue gem. Big beefy. Okay. So there's our gem. Over to the right. Oh, I can see. I can see the little like sliver. That's a, that's supposed to be a door. All right, do it. And he kicks the kicks the shit out of it. <clears throat> when Joseph, Joseph punched a small rock. Okay, I guess he punched it. When he punched a small rock, a hidden passageway appeared. Yep. At the back of this room is the snow craft that I hid. Let's go. Then we go inside, it's gone! Yeah, that's right, I put it in this treasure chest. I thought it was gonna say, it's empty. Alright, we got the snow craft. Sick. Okay, cool. So now, um, well, now we can get out of here. But yeah, now, um, we can go to this little path of snow. Um, I think it's somewhere out west, more west. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull up that map. But yeah, there's like a little patch of snow, uh, that we couldn't be able to, um, walk on and now we can map please um yes okay it is um it's go back west all the way up north and there's like that little um part where the snow starts that whiteness starts Man, having a map is incredible. I can't believe. <laughs> good thing I had, good thing I looked it up because I really, I was like, I was like pressing every single button. And I was like, what? How? how?
Good job. Yeah. All right. I, I like this. I got. I like this. Uh, the synergy we got right now, uh, uh, Joseph. I I do the sweep, and Joseph finishes with with the kill. All right. Let's do it again. Sweep them all out. Joseph just goes in. Hell yeah. Nice. All right, here we are. We're gonna do one more save. All right, ready, guys? Yeah, that's just a, that's just a sailboat. Oh shit, we're fighting Yetis. Actually, Ferion, uh, do fire, uh, do attack. Maria, fire. Nice. I want to see that triple digit. Wow, 312. Nice. Good job. Do 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 do. All right, you guys, see anything? You guys, see anything suspicious? Oh wow, they don't have that much health. Cool. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's getting a Oh, this place is getting big. Where am I going? More to the right. Sweet. Thank you, map. Sorry, I, I have to remember to do my 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 thwop. Like every time I pull out the map. But we did it. We made it. Snow Cavern. All right. We will. We will soon find uh, Gordon. I can feel it. stuff the enemies are still not giving me giving me as much money as I want makes me a little bit sad I, I, I will eventually um, accept the fact that I will always be poor in this world No matter how many monsters I kill. Damn it. Yeah, I think, uh, spamming, <laughs> just spamming attack at this point is just viable. Yeah. Because we're that good. We're, we're just so 
so damn good. Icicles. Um, let's see what happens if we just do attack. That's what happens. I see. Okay, they have like 50 health. Oh, they have like 55, 60 health? Oh, there's a... Is that a door? That looks like a door. Come on, Yeti. I thought you were going to be, like, super tough. Those Yeti seem like they can just do 100, da 100 damage easy. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this must be like the most freezing water ever. Oh, that's like hypothermia right there. And, and we have to tackle these things in the water. Oh, that's that's just the worst. No. The, oh no, the trap rooms are back. Oh hell no. Damn you, trap rooms. Why do you do this? At least I'm starting to get a little bit more money. How much do I have now? 2400, that's crazy. <laughs> that is really high in this game. That That's like pennies in, in other games. I can't, so I'm starting to not know where exactly to go, but that's fine. We can just wander around, find some good treasure, hopefully. Maybe no dead ends, maybe no, definitely no trap doors. That, that would be nice. Battle Axe. That's for Gus, but he already has a Battle Axe. But can he carry two Battle Axes? He sure can. And it doesn't hinder him one bit, apparently. Okay. 
Sounds good. Let's let's take a look at Ooh, ghouls. Let's take a look at Akimbo Gus in action. Good numbers there. Joseph, nice. Alright, Gus. What do you got? Alright, now 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 we're doing double uh triple digits with him. For sure. Joseph is like easily doing triple digits. Great. Oh man, by the time we get to Gordon, we're gonna be like, hey Gordon, what's up? You, you, you like our moves? You like how awesome we are? Oh. You wish you had you wish you had moves like this. You wish you were big beefy daddy realness. Dead Ringers. Ooh. Okay, they hit. Not that hard, really. But they are pretty tanky. Alright, good job. Yeah, I'll take that. Battle axe. And I can take it to sell, I guess. Okay, we're doing great. Might have to heal. Oh shit, a monster suddenly appeared. Alright, who's who's talking shit here? Grenades. Okay, that's fine. Do fire. Do some ice. Hit people. You got this. So, I I might just have Maria do um, you know, be the mage here. I think that's I think that's like a common thing for people to do is to make Maria the mage, and I think I'm just gonna do that because everyone else is doing a great job. Maria, I feel like her strongest suit is doing magic because her doing uh, archery is not the best. Yeah, check it out. It, the, the game is like... Oh, yeah. She's so much better with magic. Let me see her stats. Um, so her stats is like... Yeah, look at this. It's like... She's, super, she's pretty good with the bow. But the bow is still like... Eh, it's okay. Like... <laughs> She's just inherently stronger uh, as a mage, just just holding a rod. But the rod itself doesn't do damage, right? Yeah, it's just there so she can cast better magic, I think. I'm not sure how it works in this game. Not, not still. Too, I'm still not too sure. In any case, off we go. Oh yeah, this was all completely optional. Cool. I do hope we get a chance to rest here because we're a little bit low on magic and I need Maria to conserve as much as she can before whatever's um, at the end of this dungeon I don't I don't have the I don't have that many potions either 
Which, by the way, um, how do I use items? Because they have a slot for items. And they have something on it. Is it, um, the submenu? Let me see. Uh, let's go down. If I hit right? Or left? Oh, there's no menu. Okay. Um, not sure how I could... Equipment? Oh, that's how I do it. Okay, that's how we do it. Interesting. <laughs> Very much interesting. Okay. Back to the battle we go. Good job, Joseph. You you you, you punch those icicles. You you punch them real good. He shatters those things into a million pieces. Good stuff. Nice, nice. All right. Further down we go. Let's go, let's do it. <sighs> One more floor, I think. Now the question is, where to now, up or down? All right, who says up? I say up, says Ferion. Maria, uh, I uh, let's go down. Ferion's like, oh, fine. Uh, guess what he thinks? Like, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Joseph is like. Uh, just whatever, guys. Let's just let's just go. It's like, all right, let's just go up. Hey, we got lucky. I knew we should have gone up, said Spirian. I do have the heart of an adventurer. I do know where, I do know where I'm not supposed to go, so that we can get the optional stuff. Let's hope this is not a mimic. Ice scroll, hell yeah, all right. So now Joseph can now do magic stuff, which might not be the best, to be honest. But he can at least do like a couple of ice moves. And I need- I seriously need Maria to, like, hold on to those cures. I don't think I have an elixir. Maybe I have one- no, not an elixir, um, uh, an ether. Chest! Treasure! No! I was so close.
Whew, okay, good. All right, let's grab that treasure and let's get the hell out of here. We've been standing in freezing water this whole time. I just realized this must be brutal. A mithril spear. That, that sounds really good. Ooh, that seems better for Maria. What if I have her just, like, dual wield? Spear and an axe. I'll still keep her in the back row. Because she's still, she's still pretty weak. Like, phys uh, uh, physically, defense-wise. But let's see how she does. Oh. She doesn't know how to use it. That's okay. She'll she'll learn. She'll learn over time. Maybe. This is gonna be a trap room, I know it. Oh why? <laughs> Okay, the stairs are over here. The stairs are really close. Come on now. That's okay, Maria. The more you do it, the more you get better at it. Don't worry, don't don't think like you're sucking now. I mean, you, you are sucking, but that will, that will go away after like, I don't know, like 20 battles? Maybe? 30? Just, just let the guys handle it, it's fine. You just worry about keeping us alive. Um... Oh boy. Shadows. Oh, those blind. Uh-oh. Come on, lads. I know you can do it. I know I know you can do it, Gus. You can you can see through the blindness. Just believe in yourself. Believe in the axe. Well done. Now, unfortunately, he's still blinded. Um, well, good thing we, we have, like, one... We have two eye drops. Whoops. So that is good. A mithril shield. I could give that to Firion. Doesn't really boost anyone's defense. Or I think the shield uh, boosts uh, evasion. Damn it. Preemptive strike, that means we can run, right? How'd you guys mess up your own ambush? Like, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's a joke I always do, but it's like, aha, we caught you by surprise. Damn it, we have, we, we can't run. They're, they surrounded us somehow. 
Even though we they didn't even know we were here. I'm, I'm glad uh, more modern games have fixed that, where it's like, if you do get a preemptive strike, it's it's almost guaranteed you can run. Alright, uh, let's go down. Oh, I don't trust that room for shit, but we're gonna go inside anyway. Aww. What are these? They're giant beavers. Hello, giant beaver. Grr, 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 grr. Hey, I understand animal stuff. I speak with him. Everyone's like, what? That's crazy. Gra 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 gra. Alright, what do you know about the goddess bell? Loophole on right wall, monster protecting bell. Bell inside wall. What do you know about the Sunfire? Airship? Dreadnought? Mithril? Nothing? Okay, well... Thanks for telling me about the wall to the right. Um... Would you guys... Be interested in healing me... Your, your pal... Virian? May I interest you? May I interest you in this buddy Snowcraft? All right. Um. Oh, there is the wall. Okay. Good. Good to know. Do I have ether? I don't think so. No. <clears throat> kind of wish I did. Or kind of wish I had some kind of resting point. Okay, well, at least we know where progress is. Okay, I guess there's nothing else in that floor besides that one treasure we have to grab. Um, so yeah, we'll just grab it. Ancient sword. And a monster. Oh, it's just you guys. Okay, that's fine. Just don't let just don't let him blind you. There we go. Nice. All right, ancient sword. That's that's for Farin right there. Uh, equipment. Ancient sword, ancient sword, sword that casts an ancient curse. Sword that casts an ancient curse. On me, or who are the person I'm attacking? I guess we'll find out. I guess we're gonna go find out. Okay, I guess I'm them. I'll take it. 
All right, let's go. Let's go fight the monster. With, with what very little MP we have. Are you sure you guys can't heal us? Not even a little bit. Not even just a teeny bit. Ugh. Okay. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Can I do memo file? Yeah, let's do memo file. Let's cheat. It's not cheating if it's part of the game. Oh, come on now. Come on, I just healed. Gus, not you too. <laughs> only, only Maria's allowed to miss. Okay, that's that's fine. Yes, Maria's improving. She can she can try maybe hitting now. <laughs> All right. All right, Maria. You now know how to use the axe and the spear. Try your best. Never mind. Oh, there's the end. Oh boy. Oh boy, that that turtle's gonna give me uh, that turtle's gonna give me like a whole lot of grief, isn't he? Alright, Maria, I want to see you hit. It's okay if you can't do damage, just hit. No. She's still really bad at it. <laughs> I'll take a silver plate. Uh, let's give it to Joseph, because he's, like, really weak. Yeah, that, that boosts his defense real good. Um, okay. I'm gonna have Maria cure him just once. Uh, no, let's cure the whole party. Ah, uh, he's still weak. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're, like, really low on magic, but I feel like we can clutch this. Let's go. It is the Guardian of Goddess's Bell, Animatoys. Of course it is. Enemy strikes first. Oh, uh, that's not so much. That's not so bad. So we're going to see how... Uh, Oh, uh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, what is he... What is that? Is he confused?
Oh, we did it. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not doing that much health. Oh, I mean, I'm not doing that much damage. Oh no, maybe I should have done some magic. I like should have brought some magic with me. No, nah, we're good. <laughs> we got this, fam. Whew, all right, we did it, guys. Hey, looks like something is embedded in the wall. It is the goddess dispel. Hell yeah, let's take that. I got the bell. Ooh. Does this look like the way back? Hell yeah, I love that. Wait, what? No. Wrong way. Wrong way. It's this way. No. Should probably have Maria uh, uh, just warp us out of here. Maria, do you have any magic left? You have just enough to warp us out of here. Damn it. Can't do it. Not here. For some reason. She's probably like, eh, I don't feel like it. Oh, that's why we can't leave. Napoleon is here. I mean, uh, uh, but Borg... Uh, what was his name? Borg, Borgast? What? Borgen, that's it. Damn you! You've brought me down here, down to ruination. I'm ruined, I tell you. The Emperor will not tolerate any failure. He will punish me for sure. I can't go back to the Empire now. So you're coming with me to the underworld. Yeah, he's kind of got like a like a Kefka vibe going on. Like, <laughs> oh, this is the real boss fight. Well, hopefully I can I can nail this one. Oh, he was nothing. Oh, wow. Ooh, high potion. But oh, wow, he he was not he was worse than the adamant toys. So you got me, but I'm not going alone. Take my final gift. It's going to be one Hell of a ride. Yeah, 100%. He's, he's, he's like mini Kefka. <laughs> See you down there. Oh, shit. Run. No, it's coming too fast. Joseph, are you gonna punch that boulder for us? Yeah! Now go! Run! No, you're coming with us, man. We want you to come. You are our friend. Just go! I can't hold up too much longer, even with these thick muscles. Just go now. Oh damn it! I thought, I thought maybe like he could like punch that boulder. It's up to you now, Molly. I'm always with you. Joseph, no. 
Why didn't anyone, like, just pull him to the side once, once they're at the bottom? <laughs> we had so much room here at the bottom. He could have just stepped to the side just a little bit. Or maybe one of us could have just like, just shoved him a little bit. I, I don't know. Joseph, why you gotta die so cool? Uh oh, Gus is blind again. All right, great. All right, we got to get out of here. We got to seriously get back to town. Ah, <sighs> okay, good. Let's get out of here. Got the goddess bell. Gus is like, I don't need, I don't need eyes. You sure don't, buddy. You sure don't. All right, but I do want to get out of here. I want—I do want to get back to town. Not only because I want to rest, but because we have money. We have money now. Ugh, can the sailboat get any go any faster? Oh yeah, we can get like the good mithril stuff back in uh, Altier. Get that good shit. Maria's improving again. Maybe she can actually hit something. Here, here, here's hoping. I guess magic is like her thing. She can only uh she she can only hit people with magic and that's it. Or or bow, or bow. <sighs> Damn, now we have to go back to uh uh the town. And tell everyone, hey, yeah, so we kind of got Joseph killed. Sorry, Molly. Sorry, uh, the girl that stands in front of his house. Now I have to go be- now I have to go talk to that girl again. And be like, you should have told him that you liked him. I- I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you like three times. You you just didn't want to listen. Now you have to live with the regret forever. Too bad you I, I guess you got to find a new dick now. 
Nailed it. Oh, we missed Joseph, so... Wow, word got around really quickly. Jo Joseph died? Damn. Yeah, hey, man. Joseph died for that bell. Please, please don't waste his life. Just... Please save the world. Now, now go take it to Cassian as soon as possible. Oh, the girl's gone. Oh, she's in here now. Oh, Joseph. I will take care of Molly in his place. I am sure he will be pleased to know that in heaven... Oh, like he's pleased to know that she is watching over Molly from heaven. Okay. Like, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Daddy isn't coming back, is he? Yeah. Sorry about that. But you should have seen it. It was so cool. His sacrifice was, like, really cool. It was worth it. You guys are jealous how cool he was when he sacrificed himself. Alright, now that we have money for once, um, let's take a look. Uh, these weapons are terrible. Sorry, sir. No business for you. This armor... Um, yeah, we could do a few bronze helms. And some gloves. Oh, he still has darkness even though he slept. That's, that's crazy. Um, Oh, that's really interesting. Um, so what do I do for that? Do you have magic for that? Can you, do you have healing magic? Well, you have life. Phase. Banish. Warp. Um, I should get life for sure. Just in case. Um, I should go, I should go by Isuna at some point. Um, I think I can get it over in Basque. But for the time being, um, we do need a couple of eye drops. And we're good on everything else. Okay. Nothing happened. So yeah, we need the eye drops. Good stuff. Alright, so we found the Goddess Bell. Now we gotta use it in Cassian to get the, uh, the, the fire. Uh, 
and we can use that fire to defeat the Dreadnought. Let's give Maria, let's give Maria the Life Scroll. How much magic does that use? It uses... 1 MP, really? Huh. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Um. So I think the castle is a whole other dungeon. That I might not have time for. I'm actually really exhausted tonight. I was actually, I'm actually really surprised that I can, that I was like so engaged and like a little bit creative tonight, despite me being so tired. So I'm going to save and I'm going to call it for tonight. We will continue this tomorrow for sure. I need to get back onto a schedule in which I can do this like every weekday because I keep skipping some days because I'm so tired. Okay. So we will do Cassian tomorrow. Hugs. Thank you for hugs, Tennis. Okay, so we... Oh. That was the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> camera only. There we go. So yeah, we made some good progress tonight. We learned a whole lot about our team, our party members tonight. That is great. Um, I'm, I'm all bleh. I'm starting to warm up to this game. It, it took me a while. It took me a while, but I'm starting to get like, um, like, um, I don't know, like a good feeling about this game. Like I can now have fun with the characters, have fun with what's going on. The, the grinding and the battles is a little bit not that interesting, but I try to make it be. Um, but I'm, I'm having fun with the characters so far. So far, it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game as much as people say it is. I'm 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 having an okay time with it. Hopefully, it gets better as it goes on. Um, but yeah, we will continue more of that some other time. I am going to see you guys later. I'm going to go to bed. Y'all have a great night. I'm shaking my tail back here. You, you don't see. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I'm shaking my little tail back here in the excitement. All right. Y'all have a good night. Take care. Bye.